John Preston is a Marine veteran making a name for himself in the music industry. His latest single is called Before I'm Gone. It tells the story of a female veteran battling PTSD. I'm helpless, I'm screaming, but no one can hear what I'm saying. Proceeds for the sales of Preston's music goes to benefit Stop Soldier Suicide. John joins us live in studio once again this morning welcome back great to have you you've been very busy which is a good thing yeah very busy very good thing. i watched that video it's uh it's powerful to see you know i know according to the va women vets are at much greater risk more than double than female civilians of of suicide uh why did you want to focus in this time around this particular song on female vets here it took that route basically when i first the the song is written about my own personal battle with these thoughts of suicide and after losing my brother to suicide, things changed tr like tremendously for me. So uh, we thought of the concept to, to include female veterans into it. When we looked at the statistics, you know, that 28% versus 5% of normal civilian women, it, we had to do something about it. it. It's unbelievable the feedback we're getting from actually the female veteran community right now. Like what? But what are they saying? It, just thank you for finally talking about us. Do women have the same reason for not speaking up as men do? It, it's kind of, we all come from that same world. You're, you're trained to keep your mouth shut and, and work And you want to be strong and I've yeah. got it together exactly. and I can do this. Exactly. So we wanted to highlight it we're highlighting veteran suicide in general you know right. 22 a day right now is still way too many i want to come on here and say a different number you know i i want that to happen that's why we're releasing the way we are that's why we're doing the work that we're doing we we charted this album or this single we're in the charts right now in the european radio we're we're working to get this out to the entire world not just our community when it comes to ptsd is there something that you wish uh, those of us who didn't serve would understand that we just don't get? No, because it, it, on the family side of things, it's the hardest part. Because they don't know what's wrong. They don't understand what they're going through, and we don't want to speak about it. I did that for years. It took me years to even realize what I was going through. So we want to bring change. We want, to, we want people to just say, hey, we understand and we're here. Mm -hmm. um, we put a video out today that's a Veterans Day message mm -hmm. from some of the huge people in the community, Boone Cutler, River Rainbow, that's got a movie coming out this weekend. And these guys are talking about it. And we want the community to hear it too and say, hey, life isn't better, you know, it, it's, not, it's not better without this you. This cause has come a long way. When the Vietnam War was over and people came back, soldiers were ignored, uh, their troubles were belittled. And here we are in 2017 and things have changed a little bit. Do you think we've made enough progress? It, have we made enough progress? No. Okay. It, until that number changes, absolutely not. I, are we making progress? Yes. Are we reaching people now? Yes. I'm signed to a major label, so we're we're doing what we need to do. There are guys in the community that are reaching the entire world now, and that's our plan. I get that's a, our plan. I get a sense you're you're not done uh, with awareness, but you're you're like kind of putting it on the side. You're like I'm, I'm tired of it because you keep talking about this number. It's like I, I'm here to save lives. I, exactly. I mean, that's and it. That's my job. Other people can do the awareness thing. For me though, in my music. I'm here to save lives. Yeah, and I get messages uh, at least on a weekly basis of, I heard your song, John, and, and I didn't take my life today. And and we've, I get on the phone when people message me that. I want to talk to them. I want to know what's going on. Um, so we run our messages as much as possible to, to be in touch and, and actually help individual people. When you write the songs, is it therapeutic for you? Very. At the same time, yeah, very. while you're helping others, and Absolutely. is it difficult to do that? Uh, yeah, and I've I've never gone through therapy. I'm sober now for a year and a half, which has changed my mind and my work That's ethic. Great. But and I tell every veteran, first off, sobriety. Know your real brain. Know who you really are. Don't put it behind a bottle. Don't put it behind pills. You, know. you see that in the video. You see the bottle. Yeah, and, 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 and I play society in the video. Right. I, I'm feeding each thing, including the loaded gun that eventually takes her life in the video. When you were struggling for those 10 years with PTSD after coming home from Iraq, did anybody say to you, you don't, you're not the John I know, is there anything I can do? Did anybody reach out to offer help to you? A, a lot of people said, what's wrong with you? You know, but I, I was, I, it's just who I became. I did became that make a you defensive? That, I guess, why did you not reach out to, to, to hold the hand that was being extended to you? Because I didn't think I had a problem. 
because I said, I'm fine, I've got my stuff together. Even when I started this in 2014, I was a drunk, but I was telling everyone else to fix them, like fix yourself. It's back to that, I'm okay, yeah, I got I'm this. I'm good, I'm I got short. this, I can handle my drunk. Yeah. You know, but you need to fix yours. And, and really a lot in my life happened. I lost my father, I lost my brother, and mm -hmm. it, we had to sober up and make change. Yeah. Would you do it again? Knowing where you are today, I I'd mean, do it here a thousand you are times. I do lives. it today. I'd do it today if I had the opportunity. You would go back. Yeah. I would. Why? Absolutely. I, I love my Marine Corps. I love my country. If we go to a, a war that that we need the bodies, there'll be a lot of us going back for sure. Because part of me feels like you know we all take different paths in life, and if you didn't take that path, you wouldn't be writing the lyrics you are today. Exactly. Um, you know, we know you suffered and went through what you what you're going through now, but I keep getting that you're saving lives. Through yeah, your words. yeah, and, and and we're gonna reach the top of the world. I'll be number one in the world. I'll say it today, but we'll be number one in the world, and we will write laws in Congress. We'll 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 do everything we can to bring change to the community and, and change that number. It's great. Thank Thanks for all your work. We have look. no doubt that'll happen. You're yeah. welcome back. Absolutely. Anytime. Thank you and happy birthday, happy Marine Corps. Marine Corps. That's right. Yeah. 1775. Yeah, back in 1775. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You weren't around. Maybe. No. <laughs> Yeah, no, His I great, 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 great grandfather was maybe right. John Preston, congratulations. Thanks again, John. Thank you for your service. Absolutely. And thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you very much. It's Congrats our honor. Congrats on signing with the big label, too. Yeah.